my peeps. Got another. Should be quick tutorial for you guys. I've never made these before and I probably never made them because like a lot of people sell these on their Etsy shop and stuff like that. But I don't, you guys know I don't sell too many things on my Etsy shop. But I know that some of you guys have been wanting to know how to make them. So I uh, took a shot and tried to make them myself, you know, so I could have them for you guys. I didn't finish it, but I did one. And it's these chocolate dipped um, spoons, you know, how people put the sprinkles and stuff on it. And I put I put this on it, and some of you guys that have been watching me for a long time, well, not a long time, but you know, y'all been watching my tutorials. Know that I hate making bowls. But listen here, y'all. Look at my cute little bowls I made, though. I made some bowls for, for real. Like, I actually got bowls. Like, what? Look at that. I was so proud of myself. Because sometimes people put a bowl down here or a bowl up here. I wasn't sure where I think I liked the bowl, so that's why I didn't put a bowl. I don't know if I like it down there or up here. I think I'm going to put it up at the top. So let's get a little dab of glue. Just a tiny dab. And stick that on there. And this is what we're going to make today. Looks cute, right? I'm going to do a couple of different versions of this. Um, Because you have options. There's options. Like, if you wanted to put something in the middle, you could. Um, I got these cute little conversation hearts that I got from. And this size is a little bigger. That I got from Play Code 3. And uh, I'll leave a link to where you could get some. Um... Maybe I'll use a big size one. I don't know. Like, I have all these sprinkles, and I'll tell y'all. <laughs> what this one say? Love. Oh, that's cute. So, we're going to just put one on the top right here. It's kind of like I'm going backwards. I'm doing the ending first. It's because I started it, but I didn't finish it because I wasn't really sure how. See that? Got a little heart conversation piece on there. All right. So, this is what you're going to do. This is not, this is a combo of Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Because um, Dollar Tree doesn't have these wooden spoons all the time. I bought these from Hobby Lobby. They come like this. They're 99 cents. You get 12 wooden spoons in a pack. But what I have to say is. That sometimes Dollar Tree does have these, especially around the summertime. And sometimes they have them in the birthday section, but they'll have, they're not plain. They'll have like some design on the handle. Um, last year, I know they had some like this, and they had like gold, a gold pineapple, um, like imprint on it. So, I don't know. You could um, cover it up if you want. I'm going to show you how. I did this part. This is washi tape. Washi tape comes in so many different designs and patterns. And let me tell you something. I just gave away all my washi tape. Right? And now I'm like, why did I give away all my washi tape? Because sometimes I feel like I have stuff and I'm not using it. And like I had it for a long time and I haven't used it. And so I get fed up with like looking at it and I'm just like you know what I'm just give this away and I give it away and then I'm like Ugh. but that's okay because I went to Dollar Tree and I got this washi tape I just bought this washi tape so they have it if you find it get it if you want to make valentine spoons so what you do another thing that you get from Dollar Tree if you if you see it Grab it. This is a self-healing cutting mat. It's perfect. This is also a self-healing healing cutting mat. So, like, I could cut on here 
and don't have to worry about messing it up or anything because that's what it's made for. This is actually made for quilting. So, you know, I could cut on here. That's why I have this on here. So I could cut on it and not feel bad. But I like this little one from Dollar Tree too. Well, excuse me. I got to correct myself real quick. This came from the Buck 25 store, also known as Dollar Tree. Formerly, formerly known as Dollar Tree. Because it's the Buck 25 store now, okay? But anyways, if you find it, it's still a good deal. If you get this um, craft knife, definitely a good deal. And this cutting mat you is a good deal. It's, this is great to have in your craft supplies, okay? So... Moving on, I know y'all, I'm just trying to give y'all some information because I know some people are not really into like crafting and sometimes you don't need to go buy expensive stuff when you could just get it from Dollar Tree. So what you're going to do, right, you decide how long you want this to be on your spoon. So you could take it and uh, stick it on there and decide how long you want it to be on your spoon. Listen, see, this is what I'm talking about. These things be acting up. Look at the tape. Look at this tape. It done. Ripped. Oh, how, how many spoons? You see, I made, you see, I made these, right? No problem. Let me turn the camera on, honey. Problems. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that off. Let me grab my scissor real quick. <sighs> make sure the end is even they cut it make it nice and even and clean cut all right let's start this again so you take your washi tape and you're just gonna um put it on here and you're gonna decide what's how long you want your washi tape to be how high do you want it to go on your handle like seriously what is going on here with this Damn tape. I'm like, oh my God. You know what? I'm going to pre-cut it because I can, it, obviously it ain't working this way. So pre-cut your, your piece. Look, you get a lot of washi tape so you could just cut your piece. If it's too long, you just cut it down. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. So you take your washi tape and you put it as far down or as far up as you want it to go, okay? That's totally up to you. You want it to cover the whole spoon? You got to make sure you get it over to the edge so it covers the spoon, okay? So I don't want it to go that high. So I'm going to get my craft knife, my buck, my buck 25 craft knife, and just cut the piece. I like cut off the piece that I don't, you know, I don't need it to go that high. And then if you look at the back, you'll see that there's going to be like a piece hanging over. You take your spoon and you hold it down. Let me move all this crap out the way. You take your, your craft knife and you hold it, hold your spoon down really good. And you just go along the edge and you cut it off. Just cut it off. See, I cut that little piece off. Try and make sure you don't cut the spoon because this is kind of thin piece of wood so I, it, you could cut it off by accident. See that? Now you good, right? That's the first piece. You want to put that glue down. I mean, you want to put the sticker part down because once you do the chocolate, you're not going to be moving it around too much, you know? Because you don't want it to spill and get out of place. So there go your spoon. Make as many as you want. If this is too low, you just cut it. If you don't want it that low, cut it off. And there you go, right? Okay. So moving on to the next part. So they also have these mini scoops, the wood ones. There's only three, and it costs $1.99. I don't know how often that these even go on sale. I'm not sure. I don't really go too often into the party section. 
So I did pay $1.99 for these three. Because I know some people make those cute little scoops with the um with the um fake icing and they so we're gonna make one of those too. So you do the same thing that we did with on this handle, you're gonna do the same thing on this handle, okay? So the next thing is let's move some of this stuff out the way. Don't like having too much crap around. So the next thing is to make the fake um chocolate right so what you're gonna do is i already have some made here Let's see if it's still good <laughs> yep it's still watery so what you're gonna do how you make this is you get you some i've done this before you can see me do it on my marshmallow video you can see me do it on a couple of other videos but basically is cork from the buck 25 store some my podge from the buck 25 store and paint for this one i used apple barrel melted chocolate you could also use chocolate sprinkle um what's that other color any dark color that looks like chocolate is gonna be fine okay you're gonna need something to put it on like something like this i got from the buck 25 store it comes with um like 35 pieces in it and you're gonna want to get you a piece of parchment paper i don't think wax paper is gonna be good for it because it might stick to it and we don't want that i love me some parchment paper and put it down on your um where you're going to lay your spoons down. So that way it won't stick to it. It's not going to stick to it. And you'll be just fine. Okay? I don't like for it to be lifting up. Because sometimes it touches your piece. And then it's going to get messed up. And we don't have time to for that. So try to fit it in there pretty. You know. Even size to the. There you go. That's good. <clears throat> so, bro, you're going to take your mixture. You see it? It just looks like melted chocolate. That's what you want. So, you're going to take your spoon. You know what? I'm going to stick my bow on here just because I don't want it to be moving around. And Like, you could do it after. Too, but why not do it now you don't have to do what I do you can do it after web glues yes and get you a let's do what let's do a plain heart I got these plain hearts these are from play code 3 they sent me this little sample pack um and they're cute too. We're gonna use that in the middle of this one instead of a conversation. If you want to get your Valentine fake sprinkles, get them now because Play Code 3 does run out of stock. And then you gotta wait for them to restock. You see that? How cute, right? All these glue webs. Ugh. Okay. So basically what you're gonna do is See, this is why I turn the glue gun that way. I always get burned. Take your spoon. Oh, I got these webs. Take your spoon and just dip it in there. You're going to just dip your spoon in there. Put it around. And then, however you want it to go, right? Now, this is the trick. This one I did is kind of flat. Like it don't really have too much because I did it that way. But if you want it to look like it has milk in it, you have to prop it up. Because if you lay it flat like that or like this, it's going to spill over. So you want to put something underneath it to kind of like hold it, hold it up. Because it's going to keep flowing that way, right? 
So you take the tip and you could put like a little piece of um paper, anything, just to prop it up a little bit. So I'm just got a little piece of paper here and I'm just gonna put it under there just to prop it up so it won't keep flowing back. Right? You see this? See how I got that little piece of paper holding it up? Just so the chocolate won't keep going back. Okay? Right? So now is when you add all your fixings, all your sprinkles, whatever you want to add to it. I got some, a little bit of a sprinkle mix that I made. I got that here. And I'm just going to throw my sprinkles on there. And you do however you want. You add whatever you want. I'm going to throw a little bit of diamond dust on there. And that's it. Look. You see your spoon? It got... Well, this... Hold on. Let me fix this sprinkle. It's just like hanging. He don't know if he want to be on or off the spoon. So, we got to help it. See that? You got your spoon, right? So, there's another way to do this the chocolate if you don't want to make it with cork and all that stuff you don't have to let me put the rest of my cork away before it dries out so this like if you wanted to make a chocolate drizzle or some this same way you make it just the same way if you wanted to make like a drizzle for a cupcake or a marshmallow or whatever it's the same way all right so say you don't want to do the um the caulk and the paint and the Mod Podge. You could use this slick paint. This is in just plain brown. So you take your spoon. Hold on, hold on. Let's put our um. Let's put our um little bow on it. I'm excited about my bows, y'all. Actually, there's some cute bows. So, you know, I'm trying to show off here. Because I'm proud of myself. Putting that bow on there. And I'm going to put something cute in the middle. I got a cute little teddy bear. I'm going to put a teddy bear in there. Look. Look at this. Look at this sprinkle. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a cute little teddy bear. I'm going to use that. Oh, I got a cute little heart, too. Oh, man. Ugh. I feel like... Now, I'm going to use the heart. I'm going to use the heart. Lord. It's just like... I got these cute little hearts that um, Play Code 3 sent me. Got glue on my finger. These cute little tiny hearts. I'm going to use that one. Keep it heart-themed. That's the way that one looks. Okay? So, I'm going to move this over there. Because we don't need it just yet. So, okay. So, this is what you do if you want to use the slick paint. So, you just get your spoon and you just fill it up. Like, let me squeeze some out because, all right. Move this glue gun. I don't even think I need that glue gun, but um, every time I turn it off, I need it, so I'm gonna leave it alone. All right. So you're just gonna go, like if you want it to look like it has drips, and then you're just gonna fill it up with your um, with your slick paint. Go around. Fill it as much as you want. You know. right and then that's how it's gonna look you could tap it a little bit if you want to get it to look a little bit smoother just tap it a little bit you see if you tap it it smooths it out a little bit kind of tapped it a little too much got some on out on the side over there but now is when you add all your little sprinkles again. 
So let's get the plate. And remember, put that little piece of plate, a uh, plate, paper. Lord, I can't talk. If you want to hold it up so it won't move, get your paper, put it underneath. Just so it is leaning more that way than back. So it won't move. So I'm going to keep this one pretty much the same. Might add a couple of these big hearts. You guys, <laughs> listen. Like I always say, I'm just giving you the idea. You make it your own. Because... Like I, told, I always tell you, I'm pretty basic. Like I don't really... You know... Um, do too many... Like, what they call them? Like, extreme um, decorating and stuff. I, I, I don't. And I'm going to be honest with you. That's not my style. I'm really plain and basic. And <laughs> I just, that's just me. Don't get me wrong. I love those ways. Some of them extreme um, milk. Some of them extreme milkshakes look like. A hot mess but some of them i'm like wow that's so pretty and i'm like ooh, ah and stuff but i like i feel like every time i try to make one of those it just don't come out right so i'm just like you know what that is not for me so i'll be trying to do stuff that i can't i know i'm not good at I, i'm not I, I just i'm not gonna do it Cause it never turns out. I did one extreme something, and I just didn't like the way it looked, so I never really did it again. Cause you know what? You gotta have like, you gotta make sure you got everything in the right place, so it don't look, oh, so it don't look crazy, you know. And I'm not. That's like to me, it's like flower arranging. You know how people arrange those flower bouquets, and they just. Make sure they put all the flowers in the right place. And it just looks beautiful. Yeah, no. That's not me. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing and it looks like a hot mess. Alright, that's that spoon, right? And the paper's sticking to it like it knows I'm supposed to be here. Okay, so there you go. So we're going to keep that piece of paper underneath. And we're going to move this one to the side. So now we got three spoons. And we good. You see that? Right? And now we're going to do this one. So I'm going to put a bow on here too. Because you know what? I can't. Should I put it down at the here though? Or here? Here? I think I like it there. Let's put it there. Right, so you're just gonna take it and glue it on there. That looks nice. And we're gonna put something in the middle, of course, you know. Um, let's put a purple just to change it up a little bit. What does this say? If I could see it, because these letters is kind of small. It says so cute. Okay, so cute. So we're gonna just put a dot of glue. Make sure you got it facing the right way and not backwards. And there you go, right? Oh. All right, so for this one, I made some tiny little marshmallows. I don't know how that's going to come out, but. And we're going to put some more conversation hearts. I really didn't bring too many. Um, sprinkles and stuff because i mean i do have some sprinkles and stuff but i wanted to use the conversation hearts because i never used those so that's why i brought these so but for this one we're going to use some fake icing some spackle so just so we can have a different um type of scoop so basically let's go this way so you can see what i'm doing you just gonna fill it up 
with your icing. Right? Oh, you can't really see that that good. You see that? That's all you're going to do. Let me get a, a wet wipe real quick. I can wipe my tip off. Because this stuff dries so hard, so hard, so fast, it'll clog your tip up if you don't wipe it down. So I'm just going to leave it covered up like that. Put this tip side because we don't need it. And then I'm going to stick some marshmallows in there. Right? Just like that. Just stick them here and there and everywhere. And I'm going to get some of my conversation hearts. You could put a, a chocolate drizzle if you want. We should have put a drizzle on there. But you know, uh, you don't have to. I'm going to stick one back here. See the marshmallows? It's just like, this lighting is really terrible. See the marshmallow? I got to cover the light, okay? All right? And I'm going to stick some conversation hearts in there. I'm going to try to do, keep it with the same color. But make sure I put, oh my God, this is hard to see. And then it's in red. Oh man, I'm going to mess that up. Stick you some conversation hearts in there. Let's see if I can see this one. Okay. Because, bro, these little, these letters is pretty small. I don't want to stick it in the wrong way. What does it say? I can't even tell what it says. Because it's pink and red. Pink with red letters. Oh, no. That is terrible. Especially when you get older. You can't be seeing stuff. Look. See that with the conversation hearts in it? Then you can throw some, oop, throw some sprinkles on there. Let me grab my sprinkles. And you're probably going to have to um get something to push the sprinkles in because, you know, with this, once it gets that crust on it, it's hard to the... For the sprinkles to adhere, just put you know put your sprinkles here and there. If you want to, you do it however you want. I'm just telling you know showing you what I'm doing. Put a sprinkle there, and then I got a little heart sprinkle. Got another little heart sprinkle. Let's put it over here. And basically, throw your diamond dust on there. I'll put it over here because I got my little, um, and look, you got your little scoop with your icing. You don't have to fill it all the way up if you don't want to, if that's not what you want. But this is what, this is, just an idea. I think it came out pretty cute. Oops. Sprinkles fall off. Right? So for this one, you don't really have to worry about it because it's spackle. Spackle's not, it's not going to spill over or anything like that. But like the, the one with the uh, Mod Podge and the cork, you got to keep it stable so it won't move around and fall down or fall out off the spoon and stuff like that okay so this is what we did we did the one with the cork this one is made with cork mod podge and paint this one is made with the puffy paint you have you know you got options there as to which ones you want to do and then this is the scoop with spackling some uh, marshmallows and some sprinkles some conversation hard sprinkles but you make it however you want i'm just giving you the idea i think i'm sure amazon sells these um natural wood spoons if i find them i'll put a link down below i'll put a link to the sprinkles and the rest i got from the buck 25 store which is the washi tape i got this ribbon actually that came from dollar 
not Dollar Tree anymore. Buck 25 store, I gotta remember. Not Dollar Tree. Um, and they pretty easy. I mean, pretty cheap. I mean, you get, if you have a Hobby Lobby, you get 12 of these for 99 cents. You can't beat that. So you can make a bunch. You can have a lot of themes. The next, what, we're going to have Easter. You could get you some Easter washi tape. You can make it for any occasion that you feel, okay? So, guys, until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless. Bye.